Prolonged Animal Welfare was started uh, by Junie Kovacs, who also runs a Time for Lime cooking school on Prolanta. And it started following the tsunami in 2005. The construction workers that came were brought in to rebuild after a lot of the tsunami damage, brought a lot of dogs with them. And those dogs were then allowed to breed and not controlled in areas, so there's a huge dog problem on the island. This island has a predominantly Muslim population. The Muslim population don't really like dogs, so there was a lot of abuse and neglect um, because they, they don't want dogs living around there. So this organization, Colanta Animal Welfare, was started to help control the population of dogs on the island and to reduce the number of dogs through humane um, procedures such as sterilization and to control any disease by vaccinating dogs on the island as well. Margarita, we found him around the corner and he was very weak and very dehydrated so we do, couldn't find a mom or anything so we brought him in here um, normally we don't take any old any animal okay we have to make sure that we can't find its mom we can't find its owner right yeah. so if it doesn't have any of those we like bring him in here so this is what we did with this little fella and he, he wasn't eating he wasn't drinking were you <coughs> get a bamboo hut in each one um, and bowls of water always constantly kept up fresh bowls of water also this place has been designed so they can just chill out underneath here and get lots of shade <laughs> This clinic was opened in 2010 and we're primarily funded through donations and the profits from the Time for Lime cooking school are also are very generously donated by Junie and that's what keeps us running. So we get no government support, we just rely on donations from people, visitors, volunteers and also uh, from the cooking school as well. community, everyone I've met so far has been really friendly. A lot of people really wanting to help this organisation and, and are happy that we can help, you know, take care of the animals on the island. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to settling here and hopefully making a big difference for the animals on Koh Lanta and the surrounding islands.